Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another cool and fun tutorial. Got another engine for you. This one is the Norfolk Southern GP38. This one is actually modeled after the Dash 3 version. I'm not really an expert on these, so I don't know what the second and the first one, uh, what the differences are. But this is modeled after the third dash so anyways a uh, really cool looking train uh requested several several times so i went ahead and made it for you guys and it should go great with all the other engines in this group so far so let's sit back relax grab a handful of nuts kick yourself in the face and let's get this shit started all right guys like usual before we get started we're going to go over a list of materials that we're going to be using for this train if you have built the other trains it is very very similar to those it's just it's just shorter <laughs> and uh, I really really enjoy the color scheme on this one the black and white looks very very cool but we've got some black wool we've got some hoppers we got some acacia fence gates again you can substitute for a darker version I got mossy cobblestone wall you can use regular cobblestone wall got nether brick variances here you can switch these out for cobblestone I've got polished diorite for the engine exhaust type blocks here you can switch that out for iron blocks I've got nether brick fence and again, you can switch that out for a dark oak or something like that. I've got white wool, wool carpet, glass pane, ladders, iron door, and buttons, and of course, signs. And then in this texture pack, I have torches that are 3D textures uh, that give the lights on the front and also on the back. Uh, you can just put torches there, or you can use an item frame here also on the back. Uh, with a white piece of wool or quartz in the middle for your lighting system and that is pretty much it we're gonna drop over here and we're gonna get started right here just like we normally do with our black wool all right we're gonna put our black wool down just like that we're gonna skip to put skip to put skip to skip to and skip to and we don't need that one right there hoppers on the outside again very very similar to the other designs if you have done them so you are probably just scooting right along with me another brick two blocks in the back just like this we've got stairs here and stairs here just like that cobblestone wall down the middle one two three four and five back over to our slabs and we got one here on the lower hitbox with a stair right there oops going this way and then same thing on the other side we've got a stair right here and then a uh a lower hitbox a slab go ahead and fill in between with your slabs here and also there in between your hoppers and then two rows in front of these hoppers right here for the front or heading toward the front rather actually one row so just go ahead and take these off so you just got three across here just like that Going to go one more set in front of that, and then we're going to start our upside down stairs, and there's going to be seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Fill the middle end with your slabs. All right, we're going to go three, and then we're going to go five pieces. Two, three, four, five. And then we're going to make the exact same thing that we did down there. We're just going to make it opposite. So again, back to your black wool. And we're going to go one, skip two, skip two, skip two. Same thing over here. Hoppers on the outside. Slabs in the middle. Another brick, two on each side, just like that. Two pieces total. Stairs in front of those stairs on the outside slab on the lower hitbox and a five cobblestone wall down the middle two three three four and five just like that all right back here at the back of the engine we're gonna go right across here where the stairs are one two three one two three upside down stairs on the back above these pieces here same thing here on that one there makes uh, a C pattern looks just like this all right, we're going to have a stair that goes in right here, and same thing on the other side. Now, as far as your ladder goes, getting up into this thing, uh, I've got the acacia fence gates here in the middle, and then I've got some nether brick fence on the side. To set this first piece here, I just go ahead and set a uh, block, and then I put the acacia fence gate on top of that, and we're just going to go three high 
uh, right here and then on the outside the nether brick so you can add that later on the engine and same thing up here in the front when we get to that stair piece which is going to be well we're up there let's go ahead and do that another brick right across here one two three and one two three it looks just like the other one on the other side three upside down right here and right here and then a regular stair right there and right here and again that is where your uh, your stairs are going to go same thing it's going to be three high when we get to the next layer. You can go ahead and add that with your nether brick on the outside. All right, same thing uh, down the middle. Or same thing down the middle. <laughs> we haven't done this yet, Jag. <laughs> three down the middle wide. All right, switch back over to your stairs. And we're going to cover up your hoppers. And in the front. And right here for the tanks all right again back here at the back of the engine we're gonna grab our white wool and right here in the middle where the steps are just like that and we're gonna have steps here and here and then we'll switch over to our black wool and cover that up one two three and put one here in the middle jump to the front all right up here at the front we're gonna do three pieces of black wool across the middle here we're gonna grab another brick and we're gonna one two three Got a stair on the outside here and here. Back to your black wool. And connect this back to the end. Right back here at that stair. Same thing on this side. All right, let's continue upwards. I went ahead and put in the fence gates and the uh, the cage gates right here. Again, so it looks just like this on the back. You got two little lights down here that are kind of hidden. Make sure you get those in. And we're going to continue on with our black wool i've got two more pieces here and here i forgot to add on the last layer and then we're going to go back to our fence gate our fence post and we're going to put one here and one here and i've got one tucked down there that i didn't need <laughs> and we're going to go up and then across the back just like this so it looks just like that all right we're going to go up here to the front and switch over to your white wool and we're going to have three pieces just in front of these stairs or behind these stairs rather so one two three just like that so if you were to climb up these stairs and walk across here right there's your three pieces connect your fence posts across the front here one two three and then keep going until it connects into that pretty sure that's what i did yep that's what i did all right go to your black wool and we're going to go seven down the outside one two three four five six seven one two three four five six and seven all right i've grabbed some dark gray wool you can use whatever you want for the bottom deck area for the cabin for the seats and stuff to set on on the next layer you can put them in skip two spaces and go one two three and then fill that in go back to your black wool and go in behind that and then one on each side here and run this to the back stop here at the white wool so it looks just like that all right, next two layers we're going to be working on. We're going to go with our white right here on the corners. One, two, and then go on top of that with your black and cover that up. And there's going to be a, a, a door that goes right there. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go on top of that. All right, the next piece we're going to do is the north north southern sign. And it's just mirrored from one side to the other. So on the right side facing forward, we're going to go two, two, and then one and then back to our black here and here go back to our white one two three one two again so we're just going to mirror straight across from here we're going to do our four here and then one sticking out our black and then back to our white three and then two so it looks just like this go back to your black one two three four one two three four build that up twice and come out by one and go up twice so it leaves this little piece right here for a door on the back side and moving forward, we're going to put two pieces of white wool here, two pieces of white wool on that side, back to your black, two up, two up right here, and then cover this up here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one in the middle, and then another white piece here and here, and then you can just take some black carpet and cover up one, two, three, four, five, six pieces on top of that. I don't have any black carpet, so I'm just going to skip that part. All right, my lazy ass, grab some black carpet, so we're just going to cover these up. <laughs> just like that not here because right in here where the cabin area goes i'm going to take some dark gray wool and i'm going to cover that up right here and you can put some seats here and here some lights above it just so it kind of lights up the cabin some levers on the back side and then we're going to take some glass panes and we're going to go in and forward 
So it looks just like that. All right, we're going to grab our black wool and we're going to cover this up. And then one in the middle and then one white on each side. So it looks just like this. All right, grab you another brick stairs. Again, cobblestone, whatever you're using. Two upside down over top the windows here and here. Back to your black and cover up behind there and in the middle. And then we can cover this up with black carpet. Take you another brick slabs and we're going to put six pieces right there in the middle and go around the outside with your black carpet so it looks just like that grab your polished diorite or your iron block and we're going to put two here and two here and black in the middle and again covering that up all right we're going to go back to your black and go two two wide right here and then we're going to one more set and come out by one and then we're going to go back five pieces two three four five and then fill that in solid and there's going to be an exhaust stack here on the top right in the middle so go ahead and punch that out and you can put in a piece of cobblestone wall and surround it with your slabs so it looks like that all right continue on with your black carpet i left these two empty and i just started here again filling that up it just gives the train a little more depth all right back to your black wool and cover up the rest of the train or engine rather make it solid through the middle all right, then we've got another stack right here. So skip two blocks. And then we've got another one right here. So again, skip two at the end. And you got a cobblestone wall piece here, cobblestone wall piece there. Surround it with your slabs. So you should have one uh, gap space in between. And then go ahead and finish covering that up with carpet. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of exhaust or <laughs> whatever you want to call these here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and it should stop just underneath uh, that slab right there. Again, you're going to cover this up with wool or wool carpet so you won't see it. And that is pretty much it. All you have to do now is put a ladder going up the left side, put a couple signs on it. You got another uh, torch right here or again, an item frame with a white piece of carpet. Don't forget your door. Uh, I don't have a button, <laughs> but you can put a button there if you want. Again, right there's where your two lower lights go right down in here and on the front we'll take a look at oh we've got uh the doors go here on the back those are really easy to set just walk up to it turn around smack the ground and that sets this uh the door same thing here in the front just back up hit it and then we've got the door right there again on the front we've got two signs and a light in the middle and two lights down here on the lower part just like that and guys that is your norfolk southern gp38-3 really hope you enjoyed this tutorial like always remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and i'll catch you guys on the next one later